Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi has reimposed regulations to wear masks outdoors while the country hopes stricter mask rules will help it cope with the latest punishing wave of infections. Mario Draghi issued a Christmas Eve decree that FFP2 masks, which are more protective for users than the cloth or surgical face mask, must be worn on public transport, even though all passengers in Italy are now required to be vaccinated or have recently recovered from COVID-19. The FFP2 masks also must be worn at theaters, cinemas, sports events, indoors or outdoors, and cannot be taken off. With more than 2 million people currently positive for the virus, in Italy, a nation of 60 million and workplace absences curtailing train and bus timetables, the government sees masks as a way to let society more fully function. The Supreme Court has stopped the Biden administration from enforcing a requirement that employees at large businesses to be vaccinated against COVID or undergo weekly testing and wear a mask at work. At the same time, the court is allowing the administration to proceed with a vaccine mandate for most health worker, we should say health care workers in the U.S. The court's orders on Thursday during a spike in coronavirus cases was a mixed bag for the administration's efforts to boost the vaccination rate among Americans. The court's conservative majority concluded the administration overstepped its authority by seeking to impose the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's vaccine or test rule on U.S. businesses with at least 100 employees. More than 80 million people would have been affected.